Hi, I am Dr. Megan, sport and performance psychologist here at Matrix Performance. Wanted to bring you wrestlers three tips heading into the postseason to help you get through mentally and physically at your peak. And so first off, you have to use your breath. Once your body starts to speed up, our brain biologically works differently. So your ability to then visualize your technique, to think those positive thoughts, to put your mental plan in action is not going to be as strong. So you really have to focus on physically slowing and calming yourself down. And your breath is one of the best things, if not the best thing that you can use to help you do that. Secondly, know how you best prepare for your matches. Some of the wrestlers I work with, they like being around people and, and talking to some of their teammates or coaches in between matches. But a lot of the wrestlers I work with, they prefer to go into maybe a quiet hallway, a quiet corner, and really just kind of go into a bubble of, of focus, we like to call it, where they'll put their music on, they'll visualize their technique, they'll do some relaxation, take some deep breaths. They really just use that opportunity to calm themselves down, to refocus onto that next match they have ahead so that when they re-enter that gym, they are laser focused, they're really honed in on what they need to do in that next match. The third tip is to go into your tournament with a mental plan. Now, in those types of environments, you know it's, it's really easy for some doubtful thoughts, some negative thoughts to come in your head. So you wanna walk into that gym, you wanna walk into that setting totally prepared. So take some time, write a list, whether it's on your phone, it's in a notebook, something that you have with you on that day, and spend some time writing down the successes you've had this season in practice, in tournaments, in matches, the amount of effort, time, workouts that you've done. You know the effort that you've put in. Make a list, brag about yourself, write it down so that on the day of your matches, if those doubtful thoughts come in, or even if they're not, but a great way to boost and ramp up your confidence before you hit the mat, read over that list remind yourself of all of the things you've done to get ready to prepare for this match for this day to be successful and so i hope these three tips are helpful good luck from everybody over here at matrix performance and good luck on your way to unlocking your mvp mindset